Hey GQ, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. It's actually me. Let's check Twitter. At Olivia Rodrigo, if you had to pick one song from the Sour album that best represents you, which one would you pick and why? Oh my God, that's so difficult. I really love Driver's License. It's still my favorite song I've ever written, and I feel like it was the first song that I ever wrote that really like captured how I felt and was really representative of who I was as a person, so that'll always, you know, stay in my heart. Next. Wait, how did Olivia Rodrigo get her driver's license if she can't parallel park? <laughs> Great question, very observant. Actually, nowadays in California, when you take your driver's test, you do not need to parallel park. You just need to like go up against a curb and like like back up like a yard or two. So um, yeah, I, I, uh, I passed with flying colors. I have a question for you at Olivia Rodrigo. Where are the other nine songs that didn't make it onto the album? BFF would like an answer. Oh my gosh. I don't know, they're in a hard drive somewhere on my producer's computer. Never to see the light of day. <laughs> Replied. Now onto Cora. What's Olivia Rodrigo's aesthetic called? Gosh, I would call it I'm 18 and have truly no sense of personal style yet, but I'd try and stuff that's colorful and fun and comfortable and young. <laughs> Next one is, is Olivia Rodrigo currently living with her parents? Technically, I'm not living with my parents. I got my first big girl apartment a month or two ago, and it's very exciting, but my parents come and stay with me all the time, and I go stay with them all the time, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm technically living alone, but I say I am. Replied. Did Olivia Rodrigo take singing lessons? Olivia Rodrigo did take singing lessons for a while since she was literally like five years old. All right, let's see some YouTube comments. How did she go from Bizarre Bark to this? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just grew up, wrote my songs, and <laughs> did my thing. I don't know. That music video was so much fun to film. It was one of my favorite days on set in my life. Petra, who directed it, is one of my like creative muses, and so it was really fun to work with her on that. We got to like light stuff on fire and like flood stuff, so it was it was a great day. Why are her lives always a key down? I'm genuinely curious. Because sometimes in the studio when you're recording stuff, it feels more intense to have it like up a little bit. And then when it comes time to singing it live, you kind of get like scared to sing it really high. So you just like bring it down a key. <laughs> Next. Olivia is incredible. The control she has over her voice is insane and it's so beautiful. Also at 0.48, it looks like she has a necklace with I still love you engraved on it. Or is it just me? Love her so much. Yes, I did wear a necklace that said I still love you when I performed driver's lessons on SNL. And it's a locket too, but I won't tell you what I put in it. That's for me to know. <laughs> Replied. Wikipedia. Acting career. Rodrigo first appeared on screen in an Old Navy commercial. Yes, that was my first ever job. I was in like first grade or something. And the only thing I had to do is like turn around and go. <gasps> and like I did that like all day. <laughs> and I remember being like, mom, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Like this is a lot of work. And here I am. <laughs> Posted. Reddit. Scary. Favorite crime. Woo, congratulations to Olivia. I hope she enjoys graduation. Is she a fan of Rick and Morty? I wonder what her plans are next after this. You know what? I haven't watched an episode of Rick and Morty. I feel like I should. I have a lot of friends who are obsessed with it, so maybe that's on the agenda. Replied. Back to Twitter. At Olivia Rodrigo, how do you think of song names? I know in the short film you said you just had to be alone, but is there more to that? Yeah, I mean, I guess like just song names and song concepts and song lyrics and everything just sort of come randomly throughout the day in your normal life. I'll usually just write them down and then the trick is is like having the work ethic and focus to flush it out and really make it into something. You don't have to be alone to write a song. I wrote many songs on set, so. Olivia Rodrigo showed up to fans' houses and gave them merch and asked them to prom. I'm obsessed with her, that's insane. Aw, <laughs> I'm obsessed with you. I'm doing a concert film that's prom themed because I never went to prom, so we were like, oh, it'd be perfect. We can do like a little makeup for your prom. I wanted to invite a couple of people to the premiere and I wanted to have some prom dates. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Replied. At Olivia Rodrigo, how does it feel that an icon like at Kelly Clarkson covered your song? Congratulations. Aw, so sweet. Yeah, I love Kelly Clarkson and I grew up listening to her and so it was really surreal to see her sing Driver's License. So special. 
post it. Instagram. <laughs> it's a picture of me in this cap and gown. Um, this actually was not my cap and gown. Uh, I actually stole this from my best friend, Iris. <laughs> I didn't order a cap and gown because I'm homeschooled and we like don't have a graduation. So I just stole hers and took a picture in it. And Luke asks, you were in high school this whole time? <laughs> yes, I was. Just graduated, feeling so stoked about it. Next, Cora. How does Olivia Rodrigo get out of a bad date? Um, I'm a little bit of a people pleaser. I'm really working on it, but if there's a, like a bad date situation going on, I just like do the whole thing and like wait until they drop me off because I don't want to like make it uncomfortable and be like, I want to leave. <laughs> But I haven't had too many bad dates in my life, luckily. Posted. Is Olivia Rodrigo's life perfect? Um, no, Olivia Rodrigo's life is far from perfect. I have many blessings in my life, but my life is definitely not perfect. Where is Olivia's acting career headed to? Oh my god. Um, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future brings. Thank you guys for all of your questions. That's it. I am signing off the internet. Peace.